And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Still, we are in the series of Fear Not in the Bible in this episode of God's Word for you today. It is our prayer that we can help you, we can encourage you in this way of uh, proclaiming to you the Word of God because left to ourselves, we cannot help you with whatever things you are experiencing right now that makes you fear. Mga utod, ang amun lang mabulig sa inyo is to reveal God's word for you and it is our hope and prayer that you will receive help from God through the word we are sharing to you in this episode of God's word for you today, every day. Still, ginahambal na kun sa inyo, increase your faith in God for this is the only way to lessen your fear of anything in this life. Nadugangan ang aton source of fear at this moment in time. From the COVID virus disease, we have the threat of World War III. With what is happening in Russia and Ukraine, Brothers and sisters in the Lord, mabahala gid kita. But still, we are encouraging you here in God's word for you today. Fear not. Why? There are several reasons we have given you that we will not be afraid of anything in this life. This moment in time, the Fear Not series is connected with the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why we entitled this message, Fear Not, Your Hope is Alive. Amunin mga kauturan ng isa sa mga rason kung nga ah, hindi kita magkahadlok sa sining dutang luhaan o kung ano pa ang mag-move sa imo to be afraid because ultimately all people will die. And the hope for every true child of God is that as Jesus died physically, then he rose from the grave. We who died or who will die in the Lord will one day be resurrected unto glory. Amuni ang nami nga paglaum mga kauturan nga luyag namon ipaambit sa inyo sa sining nga tinion sa sining makakulugmat nga hitabo sa aton pungsod sa kalibutan man ining giera mga kauturan. We know the effect of this. Amo ina nga ang iban gaagunto na because of the rise of fuel and other things. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, we still would like to encourage you to not be afraid of those things because the Lord who provides for us sang nubo pa ang fuel is the same God who will provide for us subong nga nagtaas na. The only difference that we need to ask uh, Check on ourselves is the kind of faith that we need to, to have in, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, this or these things must move us to increase our faith in the Lord. Rather than thinking, ah, gamahal na ang tanan, kamahal na sang fuel, manunangan tani, mga kauturan, don't be bothered by them. Our God is the same yesterday and today and forever. As He takes good care of His people in the past, He will take good care of His people today and in the future. Entrust your life to God because He knows best for you and for, you, for me. Do not and never entertain fear in your life. Why? That will just cripple you. That will just paralyze your commitment before the Lord. And to find out, wala na kay gana mga lagat sa ginoo. Wake up! Bisan may ara na kita nga kakulba tumun sa sininggira. May ari pa problema nga eleksyon naton sa aton pungsod. Nga garabing istorya, gubanay na ni relasyon ba o grabe. Ang mga manubuto ga inaway na sa ilang mga kandidato. Nadula na ang peace of mind. May mga kristuhanon nga inaway na sa Facebook. May mga kristuhanon nga habuyanay na sa mga tinaga nga masakit. And then, ano? 
Magdaog ang imo politiko. Malipay ka. Dasod kung mapirdi politiko mo. Mano ka? Tama na na ang mga kagamu sa sining kalibutan. Hindi na na itong pagdugangan pa. Kundi we ought to focus our attention on how we can do the great commission of the Lord Jesus Christ. Acknowledging that all the signs of the times are now rising in our time. The disciples and the women were worried when Jesus was buried. But you know what? Three days after, their hope. is alive. Their hope becomes alive. My hope becomes alive. And I'll tell you, your hope is alive too when Jesus rose from the grave. Gani kun ikaw abyan. Friend, if you have not yet acknowledged you are a sinner, you have not yet put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and accept Him as your personal Savior and Lord, makaluluoy ka. You are living in this desperate condition and the, uh, added to the fact that you have no confidence in God, then your trouble is doubled. Ganit mga kauturan, I encourage you, acknowledge your sinfulness and by faith accept Jesus so that your relationship with Jesus will, will be the avenue where your confidence is placed on Him rather than anything that is happening in our lives. Paano nga ang atong hope nang in-alive? Well, in the story in Matthew chapter 28 verses 5 and 6, we know that Jesus was crucified. We know that Jesus died. We know that Jesus was buried. But glory be to God, He conquered death and hell. He conquered the devil because after three days of staying in the grave, in the grave, He rose victorious. Horius, he defeated the, the enemy, the devil, Satan himself, when he rose from the grave and he is telling the world and we are telling you, brothers and sisters in the Lord, that in the resurrection of Jesus, our hope is alive. Our faith is not in vain. Our preaching is not in vain because of the fact that Jesus, our Master, our Savior, our Lord, He died and rose again to prove to us that He has power over death. He has power over sin. He has power over the devil. And if He conquered Satan, He will give us victory too in all the things that we fear in this life. Anong hambal sa mga angels? Fear not. Come, see the place where your Savior lays. That is the proof. You wanted proof that your hope is alive? Silings ng mga angels, come to the place where, you, where the Savior lay and you will see the, the grave cloud still intact. Everything is still intact. That shows that Jesus Christ indeed When he said in John chapter 14, after I, I made the mansions in glory in preparation for you coming, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That is the concept why, why the grave clothes is still intact. Because after he died, he rose again. After 40 days of staying in this life, preparing the people and his disciples for the gospel ministry, he ascended up to heaven and he promised to come again. His coming again, brothers and sisters in the Lord, is our hope. We may die because of COVID. We may die because of sickness. We may die because of war. If it will happen, the World War III, I would like to inform you, brothers and sisters in the Lord, or friend, if you have if you have heard me this moment in time and you have no relationship with Jesus yet, better you acknowledge your sinfulness and by faith accept Him so that when death comes to you, you will be one day resurrected and And meet with Jesus in the air and you will be forever with the Lord. That is God's word for you today.